Hi everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem, the maximum subarray. So this is somewhat a popular problem you will be seeing in like many interviews. So uh, I'm going to like solve uh, maximum subarray, which is the actual problem. So for this hacker rank, uh, they have added uh, another uh, small problem on top of this. So we will see this. I will also explain like uh, what, what will be the main part of this uh, problem. So it will be easier for you guys if you are going to like attend an interview on this uh, particular problem. So we define subsequence as any subset of an array. We define a subarray as a contiguous subsequence in an array. So I guess you understand the difference. Uh, given an array, find the maximum possible sum among all non-empty subarrays, all non-empty subsequences. So we have to find the maximum sum of the subarray and we also need to maximum in the subsequence. So print two values as space separated integers on uh, one line. Know that the empty subarrays or uh, subsequence should not be considered. So this is not the case. And we have an example here minus one, two, three, minus four, five and 10. If we consider the maximum uh, subarray is comprised of elements indices from one to five. So their sum is from two to 10, we'll just uh, add it all top, up together and uh, we will be getting 16. So this is the sub array. For sub sequence, you can clearly see we are just uh, adding the positive numbers. So two, three, five and 10. So the total will be 20. So this is the maximum of sub sequence. In sub sequence, we can uh, ignore some uh, negative number in order to get the maximum. So these are the two problems we are going to solve in this. Uh, let's see the constraint. So here we have around 10 test cases and uh, the n can go up to 10 to the power of 5. So we are going to solve it in uh, linear time. Uh, you don't have to like uh, uh, worry about time uh, limit exceeded uh, if you are solving in uh, linear time. Uh, you should not comparing like all the elements and uh, it will take like uh, n square if you like uh, go for all possible combination. I think it will uh, go even more than that if you consider all the possible elements. So we ha we are going to solve it in an optimal uh, way. Let's see a sample input. So we have two test cases and uh, we have uh, four uh, the length of the array. So one, two, three, four. I think if we sum it together, the both subarray and subsequence will be the same. So in this case, it is 10. And uh, in the second case, we have a length of array is six. And for the subsequence, we will just add all the positive numbers. So two, two, uh, three, total is seven and 11. So this will be the subsequence. And for the subarray, I guess uh, we'll be adding from two to four. So if you do that, it will be just uh, adding minus one from the 11, so it will be 10. So subarray is 10 and subsequence is 11. And uh, we have another uh, example. So this will be like a one corner test case. So if there's no positive uh, integer at all for the subsequence, we have to take a uh, maximum in the array. So that is uh, minus one in this case. And for the uh, subarray also, it is uh, minus one because uh, there is no other possible element that gives the maximum. So I hope you guys understood the uh, problem and uh, we will solve the problem now. First, we will initialize the uh, variables. So sub sequence sum, sub sequence sum equals, I'll just initialize it with uh, zero and uh, sub array sum sub array sum equals minus sys dot max size i'm just initializing with the negative maximum integer so after that we will need uh, some temporary variables so sub sequence temp sub sequence temp I will just initialize it with uh, minus sys dot max size and sub array temp equals zero. 
okay first we are going to iterate the array iterate the array now for number in array if number is greater than 0 so this is for the subsequence so I'll just comment it sub sequence I'll just add it to the subsequence sum plus equals num okay and uh, this is for the sub array sub array so this will be the main logic so sub array temp equals sub array temp plus number now I am comparing with the maximum sub array so sub array temp sub array temp is greater than sub array sum sub array sum then we will just update it sub array sum equals sub array temp okay if sub array temp is less than 0 that is if the numbers is comprised of like negative numbers means we will just initialize it with a 0 we don't want that so we, we won't be getting the maximum if we are having negative numbers so sub array temp equals 0 so this will be the main logic for finding the maximum sub array I'll just have it as maximum sub array maximum subsequence and uh, lastly at the end of the for loop if subsequence sum is equal 0 that means uh, none of the uh, elements in the array are positive so we will go subsequence sum equals subsequence temp so for this I guess uh, you could uh, either uh, get the maximum of all the elements or I will have it in the else part else subsequence temp subsequence temp equals max of sub sequence temp comma num whichever the maximum it will just uh, store it in the subsequence temp so for these cases it will just uh, store uh, minus one eventually and uh, we will just update it here for the subsequent sum so instead of this l statement you could also use uh, maximum of array so but it will cost you another uh, linear time uh, overall complexity will be linear but uh, I just want to solve this in like a one iteration if you are again finding the maximum of the array means it will be another iteration why we have to do that so this will be the most optimal solution for you and finally we will return subsequence uh, okay sorry sub array sum I think that's the first index let's see yeah first we have to return for sub array sum and after that subsequent sum okay so these are the uh, two results we have to return let's run this code once okay I think this one is not updated I think I have okay this is subsequent sum yeah okay let's run this again okay it passed all the test cases let's also submit it once okay now you can see it solved all the test cases you could also trace the problem as I already explained uh, uh, for these things for these Im inputs I already uh, explained how the logic works so maybe for this example if we can if you consider uh, for the subsequent sum it will just uh, take the positive integers so it will just add these up together so it will be 11 for the sub array sum we will be adding it to the sub array temp and uh, comparing whether it is the maximum so you, here if you add uh, 2 minus 1 that will be 1 so still it is in positive so we won't be touching this condition so we will just add all up together so this so this whole thing will add up to 10 
um, that will be the maximum subarray sum and if you add minus 5 it will be uh, less than that so this condition will also not execute and finally we will return all the results so that's pretty much it guys so just keep remember uh, this uh, logic so this will be like uh, asked in like many uh, interviews so be sure to remember that and uh, that's pretty much it guys so if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for uh, future videos stay tuned for the next video